need it. There it is. And the Colts fall today. It's the Houston Texans 23 and the Indianapolis Colts 19. disappointing and sometimes in life I always think this way like man why does this happen there's a plan for everything as disappointing as it's in it's going to make us stronger <clears throat> you veterans right been around the league for a long time right we talked about it time runs out the guys are coming back here next year remember it remember this feeling so it doesn't ever, ever happen again I got to be better we all got to be better right and we will and we will every single one of you I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart all right, stick together, man, stick together. We'll grow, we'll learn, right? We'll come back stronger. I'm all right with mornings. I actually like working late <laughs> more. I usually have a cup of coffee every morning. Sometimes I'll play tunes and sometimes I have it silent and just thinking about what we need to get done. When I'm driving into work, I'm usually thinking about the tasks at hand and the off season. Obviously now with the season being over, right now we're you know going through our self-scout process. We got our draft coming up, so you know we're doing self-scout stuff in the morning, draft in the afternoon, and then just thinking about the task, you know, that we gotta get done during the day. How fast time goes. It's already been a year. I do remember driving in that day. Hey, come on, buddy. Oh, look. Look who it is. <laughs> it was obviously a special, exciting day. Love it. Perfect. Yeah. I was excited, really thinking about hiring a coaching staff. It was going through my mind, to be honest with you. What were those earliest days like? They were long. Spent many nights on my couch here at the office, just working, just working, bringing guys in, interviewing guys, getting to know people around the building, calling players. I had a you know a layout of schedule of what I had to get done that morning, and then at night I would call the players to get to know them. You're just laser focused on the task at hand, and then obviously before we knew it, it was spring practice and we were on the field. It's crazy how time flies. My wife and kids were awesome through that time. That was a hard point because we came out to Indy together and then the kids and I left and Shane stayed here. We decided that it would be best to stay in Philly and let our son finish school. Two, three. Whoa. He's all in and I think that was another reason the kids and I kind of stayed back in Philly. I knew he would probably be jumping in, all in with two feet. He has always been like that since the day I met him. I wanted to give him that space and that opportunity to give his whole self to the team and the organization and the city. To have that time to just focus on my job was huge for me, putting it all together when I first got here. It was a good time for me, learning everybody, going through that process. The support they gave me through that whole time period being away from them was tremendous. In the summer when we moved, it was like, okay, we're back, it's family time, and now you are not sleeping in the office anymore, and you need to come home. My wife's been so supportive through this whole thing throughout my whole career, and, and just so grateful for her. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> We met in high school. We both grew up in the same town. He's a year older than me, and we were in the same Spanish class. Senior run pro. <laughs> He's just like a fun, outgoing, silly guy. I think we were just young and naive, and we both liked each other, and it just worked. Like, we both just meshed together, and we didn't obviously know what was gonna transpire. We didn't know we were gonna be together for this long, and a month turned into a year, turned into more years and more years, and now I look back and I'm like, I cannot believe we've spent more than half of our lives together. We've been together more than we haven't been. I think when we were getting married, it was definitely like, are you all in? This is the life, this is the lifestyle that 
you know, I'm choosing to go after my dreams. And yeah, I was all in and we've never looked back. Boom, what's it, there it is. That's the route, 11. That's the route. Back shoulder, that's the throw right there. That's the ball. Just keep working that, that's the ball right there. People, when they are asked to describe Shane, as they say, he's all ball. That's not completely false, but he is a whole nother person at home. He loves his family. He loves to spend time with our two kids, Hudson and Stella. He's goofy, he's fun. He's usually the loudest one in our house. He likes to come home right at bedtime and get everybody round up. And he's a lot of energy, I'm sure at work too, but at home he brings the energy and he makes us laugh a lot. Great, great, and I mean great team win. What is Shane like after a win? He's a very animated person. How about the Colts, baby? He's hard on himself. He can definitely dwell on, on something that he did or, or an issue that happened during the game. And I feel like it's my job as a wife to remind him that we don't have to nitpick every single thing. Like, let's take this win and like enjoy it and celebrate it. He's pretty hard on himself. Yeah, I try and be the, the positive reinforcement in the house. With no further ado, I'll introduce you to Shane Steichen, uh, next head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. Thank you to my beautiful wife, Nina, and our two kids, Hudson and Stella. Thank you for sacrificing everything you do, day in and day out, so I can live out my dream. I love you guys more than you know. It's one of the biggest blessings of our life. I, I honestly, I can't believe that it has happened because it, it was a lot of prayers and a lot of sacrifices, so many sacrifices, and a lot of missed time with him and time that he's missed with our kids. But the very first home game last year when he ran out on the field, it was like, okay, this is worth it. I cannot believe like we made it. It was really cool because Shane's entire family got to be there for the first game. The national anthem ended and I was tearing up, getting emotional and I looked over and his brother was getting emotional and we were all getting emotional together. It's felt like a long road, but then you blink and you're like, oh my gosh, it's here, it's happening. Like, let's do this. When you're a team, right, then your individual success will take off, right? Together, everyone achieves more. That's what it is. When you make it about yourself, it's over. It's all about the team, the team, the team, and being selfless. Knowing that you can impact people in this building, just the drive every day to do it is special. I'll say this, for me personally, like I never, ever take it for granted being in the National Football League, ever. It is an honor and a privilege to be in this league. It is an honor. There's not one day that I've walked in this building, any building, where I said, shoot, I gotta go to work today. Heck no, I'm working in the National Football League at the highest of highs. And everyone in your departments, you guys are in the NFL and working for the Colts. How good is that? How good is that? His passion is to get the best out of his players. That's constantly where his mind's at. It's constantly what he's thinking. He oozes with passion. There's not a phony bone in his body. It's real, it's authentic. And I think sometimes you get passionate and you have to sacrifice intelligence for the passion, but Shane's incredibly bright. So you've got somebody that's the perfect combination of those two things. Just thankful for, you know, the first year of the memories that we had. So I'm super excited about next season. I really am, deep down in my gut, I feel that we're, we're right there. We are right there. I think we're right there. And what's your identity gonna be in 2024? We're gonna find out. But I think we're right on the cusp of something really special here. Super excited about the future of the Colts. Can't wait to get started in the 2024 season.